Hi, I'm James from IntelliHub.io. Today I'm going to talk to you about using the Arduino with the Microsoft Azure IoT Hub. One of the problems with the Arduinos is they are typically low powered boards and don't support um, encryption protocols such as SSL. Um, this makes talking directly to the Azure IoT Hub pretty difficult. Um, with this in mind, I decided to purchase the more powerful um, Arduino Yun, which has an open WRT Linux core, um, and you can talk to this from your Arduino sketches. I started to install Node on the Linux core, and soon realized it doesn't actually support a new enough version to run the Azure IoT SDK. Um, the, Azure, the SDK requires version 0 0.12, um, and OpenWRT only supports version 0 0.1. 1.0. Same story again for the Java SDK and unfortunately there's not a Python SDK available yet for the IoT Hub. Um, I had a Raspberry Pi sitting on my desk um, so I decided to try and use that as a field gateway. Um, I set it up with Node.js, installed the Express Framework and uh, knocked up a simple script to send um, device to cloud messages and also receive cloud to device messages. The Arduino then talks to the Raspberry Pi using HTTP. Um, it sends its own uh, device ID and um, some parameters, typically the sensor data that it needs to send across the cloud. Um, it also polls the Raspberry Pi um, to check to see if there's any messages for it. Um, some of the issues with this implementation are the Raspberry Pi has the actual IoT Hub device ID um, and not the Arduinos. The Arduinos do have a device ID, um, but it's kind of a private internal one, um, although we are passing that as part of the meshes data to the IoT Hub, um, so it can be used in things like stream analytics. Um, another issue is the data between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduinos isn't encrypted. Um, I'm going to look to address that over the next couple of weeks. Um, in my particular scenario, it's not too much of an issue since the Wi-Fi network is locked down to those particular devices. Um, but obviously, there's still a security vulnerability there. Um, with regards to the device IDs, um, I'm going to look to change the script over the, again over the next couple of weeks so that the um, Raspberry Pi is listening for, out for multiple device IDs. Um, and sending messages for multiple device IDs and then it would be the actual Arduinos that have the device ID for the IoT Hub. For those of you interested, I've put some sample code on GitHub. Um, just search Azure IoT for Gateway and you should find it. Um, there's also an implementation for the Photon Particle Board. Um, the Photon Particle Board is a great alternative to the Arduino and costs 20 quid. Um, it's got Wi-Fi um, and everything built into it, so um, really worth looking at.